Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Friday. Yes, it's Friday. And today we are going to my cardiology appointment. So it's just a checkup because of my pots. Um, but we're not going to do an echo or EKG because I got that done this past summer. So, and as you can tell, we're not in the normal, in our car. Um, my mom's car is in the shop again. So we have a rental car that's wheelchair accessible. So that's why we're in a different car. Um, but we're going to get going. And it's very cold. It's so cold right now. My hands are freezing. Okay, we're here in the elevator and we were laughing because last time we were in this elevator, the doors almost closed on us, literally. No, good. Let me start over. The last time we were in that elevator, the doors like literally started closing and would not stop closing. And that basically just happened again. Um, but we're in the parking garage and we're walking all the way to the building where my cardiologist is and I'm really sorry it's shaky. We're in the room now and I was just informed that I'm getting an echo and EKG, so I didn't think I was, but I am. And she gets away this lovely <laughs> thing. First we're going to do the EKG and then after that we're going to do the echo, which is just an ultrasound of the heart. So, okay, yeah. quickly. Hey guys, so we made our way out of the cardiologist's office and I actually only ended up getting an EKG because they said you can either have an echo now or in July and I chose to lie because yeah so no echo but I did do the EKG and everything looked good and my heart rate has been super good my cardiologist is really happy with that anyways so as I was saying before I was interrupted I'm kidding um my cardiologist is happy with how my heart is heart rate has been and we are to up my blood pressure when I go from laying to sitting or standing up is still fairly low. But she doesn't want to just like treat the number, she wants to treat the symptoms. So we're not doing any increases or any med changes or anything. Still on mitogen, still the same amount every day. And so we're just going to take it day by day and hope we don't have to do any more increases for a while. But now we are on the way to find food because we are hungry. So. Hey guys, so we are at the habit now. So we're just enjoying being outside and the temperature is cold and it just it feels really really nice here. Lunch was really good. Guys, I am such a faker. I've been lying to you guys this whole time. I, I'm not in a wheelchair. I'm not at all. Not right okay. now. <laughs> There's totally not one in the back. Not at all. I'm kidding. We always joke. Like, because I can walk, it's just longer distances that make me get really bad fatigue easily. So that's why I'm in a wheelchair, and so we always joke, like, when I'm out of my wheelchair or walking to the front seat or something. You're such a faker. Helps such a faker. Start the car? Where the it probably does. does. Isn't that the key? Anyway, that's a joke that we always do, but we are now leaving the habit. Well, I mean, obviously we're in the car. it's such a habit. That was, that, was <laughs> that was worse than a dad joke. <clears throat> anyway, so we're going on our way home now, right? Yes, because I have to take back the rental and pick up my car. How are, so you're going to have to Uber? Uh, no. Renee is going to take me. I apologize for the lighting, but um, I, have, I have a migraine. So the only reason I'm sitting up right now because I'm going to try eating some nuts. We're out of lar bars, which are the protein bars I always go to. And I should probably explain that pro I don't depend on protein to cure headaches or migraines, but sometimes it helps lessen it. And I've taken ibuprofen and it's still in pain. And I'm still really sensitive to light. So I've just been in my room laying down. So I'm going to eat some of these and I'll update you if you you guys if it helps at all hey guys it's a couple of hours later and um eating cashews kind of sort of helped um but i'm trying to remember but i still have like the headache pain it wasn't as bad like after once i took ibuprofen and ate some protein but it was so bad and then sensitivity to light so that's been fun. So I'm still kind of dealing with it. Um, like 
right at this moment I don't have any headache pain and like I have my light on because for like a few hours I had to be like completely off um, but I have it on so that means I'm less sensitive now which is good it's just like the my body is tired <laughs> kind of feeling so uh, because of it and I don't know if you can tell but I am a chipmunk um this side is a boy puppy and so I'm just going to rest the rest of the night and just relax because that's all I can really, all I can really do. So I've concluded that it's most likely my hemoplegic migraines because sometimes like stuff from that overlaps with like dysanomia stuff. So it's hard to figure out. And the thing I'm thinking is because I'm a chipmunk, that was like the third deciding factor of those hemoplegic migraines. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, even though my speech isn't wonky, sometimes I get like atypical, is that the word? Um, episodes of conditions, so yeah. And dinner was good. Um, we had meatballs, which is like, you know, like my mom makes it with like beef and then what pasta sauce, something sauce, something tomato, I can't remember. And then she put a bunch of like dairy free cheese. Which actually isn't terrible. Um, and it was really good. I wasn't able to eat as much as I wanted to. Um, but I did as much as I could. So I think I'm just going to relax now and start editing the video I'm going to post tomorrow. Which is Saturday's upload for me. And probably watch The Man in the High Castle again because I love that show. Oh hey, same place. A little bit later um so I just tried to get up because my mom came home from grocery shopping so I was gonna try and help her put away the groceries and then put away the dishes on top um, because I finally remembered to do that and my body was like not happening I don't know I just have the feeling like I need to lay down and I don't know quite how to describe it it's part of my pots where I just feel like I need to lay down. Like, I can't sit up. It's like I call it the feeling in my head. And I don't know how to explain it. But the thing is, I'm not sure if it's pots or if it's like remnants of hemophilia migraines. I don't know. Because sometimes symptoms overlap. Sometimes I don't know. It's very odd. I don't know why that is. And so I guess I'm just going to continue watching. My show. Um, honestly, I'm not too too worried about it. I think I'll be a lot better with a good night's sleep. So yeah, still a chipmunk, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I'm a chipmunk. Mm -hmm.